So this weekend we are at the Southampton Boat Show on the Suzuki stands yeah. and there's loads of fun stuff going on, isn't there? It's fishing simulators, isn't there? Rib rides Rib and rides. loads of cool engines. So let's have a look around this stand and then let's go and have a look around the show. Happy. <laughs> the order's gone. Well, I'm, we're trying to catch a fish on a computer, which I had to go with before, and it's actually it's so realistic. I was expecting it to be like a computer game. It's well good. Proper pulls you in, and the fish starts to run away. So but, the, the show hasn't opened yet, so all the Suzuki fishing team are having a little in house competition to see who can get the best score. So we've got Daz on at the moment. I can't believe you've got a fish already. <laughs> I've, got, I've got bully point as well, haven't I? So, yeah, if, you, if, if you're too aggressive, you've got like a point of bully and if you get three of them, then the hook pulls out of its mouth. So you can't be too aggressive. But Luke, Luke's not allowed to go because he's far too good at this. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is it balances when, when it comes off the, off the spool on the... Um, it does, yeah. I can see it doing it then. <laughs> a poor work, it always blames his tools. <laughs> right, so Dad's got 11,800 and I got 5,619. And Gemma's going to get, how many points are you going to get? Probably <laughs> <laughs> so Wow. What? <laughs> I'm not sure if she's meant to hold the rod like that, to be honest with you. It No wonder she enjoys fishing. <laughs> well, what what um, aid have you got now? The strap on. The strap on, is all the cold? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, boys. Try and beat my score there, 23,895. So we haven't got any charts for the Rain Marine screen that we've got on Butara yet. So while we're at the show, we've just popped over to the Navionics stand to pick up some Navionics charts because these are absolutely awesome, especially when you're fishing because the relief shading shows you all the detail on the bottom of the floor. So we've been using these like on, our, on my phone um, for when we've been fishing for the past couple of months. And it's, it's really, really helped the fishing to be able to get identified fishing marks and stuff like that. So it's a game changer, really, for when you are out on the boat trying to find where the fish are going to be. Modernise the dashboard yeah. and the communication. Um, everything's analogue on the engines and stuff mm. like that. It'd be nice to get rid of all the gauges. And... Uh, Mertron make okay. an engine interface which yeah. will digitise the... Um, the analog outputs from the engine, yeah. and then you can display it on a on a dashboard. On a smaller screen, as well. Um, yeah. So you can have um, on the dashboard. There's uh, different engine pages. And the best thing about the Raymarine stands, yeah. chocolate. <laughs> I'm well happy now. <laughs> oh, so I done my RYA Day Skippers theory online with Arden training and the course was absolutely fantastic. It was so easy, all the videos were brilliant and if there was anything I was stuck on, I could literally pick up the phone or email and I'd get a message straight back with, with all the help that I needed. So if you are looking to do a Day Skipper online theory course, I can't recommend these guys enough. And if you use the code SHAPPENS10, you get a discount. So go over and have a look. <laughs> You wouldn't believe this is a fender. Look at this, right? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so light, isn't it? It's awesome. But you know these ones? These is the same colour as Butari, and they would look absolutely perfect on the boat, wouldn't they? And yeah. also, they actually roll away. Like yeah, you can deflate them. You can deflate them. Stick them in a cupboard so, rather than fenders rolling around. So. Yeah, because when you're on big like long trips, fenders they just get in the way, don't yeah, they? So yeah. they are ideal. But yeah, look at how light they are. Can I give a catch? One, one finger, look. <laughs> They're awesome.
So my boat whales having a little look around at all the tenders because we could really do with a tender for the back of Butari. And as well as it being sort of like an emergency sort of life raft, it'd be good to go and explore shallower places that you can't get to on the big boat on the tender. And actually the prices are really, really reasonable. Longboat Penta assisted docking demonstrations today. They're taking place throughout our day here. If you'd like to book, you can visit expressions. Booking is on easy. I like this one. It just looks really, really cool. This one's caught my eye. It's very stealthy, isn't it? Look at it black. Looks like mean business, doesn't it? It's only 37 kilos. Yeah, you don't often see a black tender, do you? No, they're all, they're all um, like this colour, aren't they? And you know, like, you want something different, you know what we're like. You are going to look like proper stealth though in this, stealth. aren't you? Yeah, to get like a, um, like a SWAT team. Uh, yeah. It's got a V, a V shaped air deck, whatever you call it. It's like, it's puppet tough. And to be honest, that price is really, really good, isn't it? It is actually. I think we've got a little bar roller. You might well find Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, walking around the show, and I've just bumped into Red Seas. So, All right. yeah, yeah. I've, we always watch these guys on YouTube and we love them. So, I'm so made up to see them. So, if you haven't seen their channel, go and check it out. You're having big issues, aren't you, at the moment? Just a few, yeah. Um, we're, we're a catamaran, but we're only a half a catamaran right now. Oh, we've got we've still got a single-engine yeah. single yeah. catamaran. Single catamaran. But but one engine's on one port. side. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think any of us our own boats don't have a boat that hasn't got problems. Too right. Yeah. Well, that's um, part of it, right? Yeah. That's the joy. We're you all in love the... fixing stuff. You yeah. do. <laughs> we're all in the same club. We've all got broken boats. <laughs> <laughs> broken boat club, go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, how are you guys doing? Oh, yeah, buddy, all right. Yeah, good. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. This is Ross, and Ross is the one who we got our trailer off for our little fishing boat. And tell you what, after like, well, six months of using that, that trailer has been absolutely awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Magic. It just makes it so much easier when we're getting the boat on the trailer and stuff like that. It's been fantastic. And it's been abused. Yeah, it's <laughs> and abused. Yeah, it? And it's still in perfect condition. Brilliant. So, Brilliant. how did the, the uh, competition go? Really well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. catch anything? Yeah, yeah, we did. We did. We come twenty first. Okay, out of twenty two. Yeah, <laughs> forty one. Okay, that's all right then. Considering we've only ever fished three times before that, we've done really well. Okay, so what did you catch? Um, we got taupe, bream, smooth hounds, rays. The only thing we didn't catch was bass. Did you eat any of them or did you have to chuck them back? They all went back nice, nice and safe. They were all lived to, to fight another day, <laughs> didn't they? So yeah, that was really good. What have you got? Bilge pump. Do you think that'll be big enough for Surinda? Can you eat your head in it? <laughs> it's bigger than your mouth, that hole. Oh my god. 4,700 yeah. gallons per hour. So we're basically looking to, a winter job for Surinda is to improve on the bilge pumps. So we're very experienced in our little teeny weeny boats. We've got some pumps that are yay big. Hey, just pump out, it's good. But I think Surinda deserves some proper pumps, don't she? Big 24 volts, big as they can do. So let's see which one is the most Blow. Well, they are. What's this one? So we're here with Craig from Barris and we're looking at the sea flow pumps because we really need a pump for Surinda. So what pump would you recommend? So we were chatting about something like this, which can be remote mounted for you guys because she's a big boat. There's some areas that aren't as easy to reach. So with this, you can have it mounted on the bulkhead. So you'll then have a hose coming off with a strum box down in the bilge to pick up the water. So. Yeah. Can easily be serviced, easily accessible. Yeah. Not always submerged in all the all the gunk in the build. Yeah, and then because that's sort of mounted up there, we haven't got to worry about like the spacing between the ribs, so the pipe can come down yeah. and it'll get get. To and this the this is a, a, a big meaty pump, so it's going to pump sort of 38 gallons per hour. 
3,800 gallons per hour, sorry. So that's going to shift a lot of water for you. So if you guys are in any sort of trouble, you know you're going to be able to count on it. So for a 72 foot boat, how many pumps would you recommend? I think for you guys, probably three to four of these. And then um, maybe some of the smaller ones where you've got the ribs and things like that. And they're, again, those hard to access places where the water gets stuck. Cool. So you can have the smaller ones to get a little bit of water out. And then these as a real emergency backup when you need them. So I think I'm going to go and try and do a deal on some pumps because it would be really, really good to get some fitted before the winter, wouldn't it? Hi. Hello, Dan. Hello. So we have Mr. Dan Lee. All right. And Dan is a boat builder, so right up our street. And I'm Dan, a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. So, yes, go and visit Dan Lee on YouTube. I'll stick a link in the description. So, obviously, everyone who watches our channel are quite into wooden boats and wooden boat restorations and stuff like that. So, definitely go and check Dan out. So, what are you up to at the moment, Dan? So, I'm here with my quarter scale model. So, this is a new, complete new wood boat design kind of encompasses uh, modern technologies and modern practices within wooden boat building and I'm building a quarter scale version of it to kind of show the process and teach people how all that works and um, yeah show it so quarter scale is as small as I could go to show the process exactly the same as it is with the full size boat. And, awesome. Um, that's the current series that's underway on the channel. So everyone can watch this getting built yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, and so we sell the plans for the boat as well, so people can buy their own plans and build. Is this a full, so, a full size plan you sell? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. or a model one. So I do, I do the full size plan, which is a twenty four foot runabout, which is what this is. Okay. So that's what the finished thing looks like. Um, and then actually, when I started doing the model, people were kind of like. Oh, I just want to build a model. Okay. So I then did a simplified set of plans that kind of yeah. were just for model builders because this is exactly the same as you do the full size boat. It's almost too detailed for a model mm. because it, everything is. It's good education for when you actually actually make. Yeah, make yeah. So that was the idea, really, was to just teach people how how the proper. I, I can imagine goes. it's quite as hard to build the model than it is the full size. Almost, yeah. Especially yeah, if you're used to. The little details, yeah. Oh, my tools are too big. Big, bigger, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bought this little set of planes, actually. Little yeah. tiny model makers <laughs> planes, and they're like diddy little block planes. So they were they worked really well. Impressive. But um, this is how we do a typical frame. This might be quite interesting to see. So it shows you how all the parts are done. So everything's CNC cut, and then aligns with these little notches. So you've got like indents, in one part and the two bits fit together actually that goes there and then you've got um, dowel holes through each part so for this is frame three so that's three starboard bottom and then you put that in place and then the holes go through to, to the frame three hole and locates that part and then you've got another one up here so that positions all of your so when you're Rain when you build the full scale, you'll have a loft in floor then. You'll have this board. So this is an eight before board, two eight before boards oh, joined okay. together with this dovetail. So you see and see cut all this as well, and this gives you all your locations, and then all your parts just locate and slot in like then that. You can't go wrong. You build some. You can't really. Your frames are perfectly square, and then all your extra little filler sections notch in. But then it also gives you a. A perfect center line to work yeah. from transpose that through to your to your frame and then this water line here so you then put your strong back legs on which are these so those are your legs that position it within the within this strong back system um you put them on your frame and then you transpose that oh, line okay. across. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the relative to the to the yeah and okay. then you can see that all the way through the boat runs all the way down so then you just set up a laser level and you put your frame in the strong back and you just lift it up until it breaks that laser line. And you know it's square because you've got a laser both sides and everything's perfectly flat. And that just gets you a boat that's set up and framed and- And precision. Great. Yeah. 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 Which then means everything else follows on. Yeah, then yeah. It means yeah. that you're not trying to take out errors and fare in the sides and you know, you've got flat spots in it and things. So everything just flows from then on really. So obviously Dan knows a lot more about wooden boat building than what we do. <laughs> nah, so if you, want to, if you want to learn any actual skills, go and check out his <laughs> channel. <laughs> so do you remember these from Boat Life? <laughs> when you hit me with it? Oh, God, oh, no. 
<laughs> so I, lo I love these and I was really, really upset at uh, Boat Life actually that I didn't get one. And it I, I took me, I couldn't find the company online. So I couldn't order one online. So when I come back today, I found them. I was like, I am getting a boat hook. But so what is awesome about these, as well as it being a boat hook, you can also change these apples on the end and it can be a brush. <laughs> You get like a stiff brush, soft brush. And all that one does. Comes a little bag. So that's how small your boat hook is. So that's gonna be awesome, like on our lit on the, the fishing boat. That mm. we're limited on size and space. That little space for a brush. And a I boat think hook. Floats as well, don't they? Been blasting yeah, and testing yeah, to see if it floats. So if you yeah. drop in the water, see it's fine. That's good. Yeah. So yeah, look, there they are at the uh the moped. So there's your hook ends and then we've got the brush. Sweet. Do you know what this boat will be perfect for? Getting supplies over to Sorinda. <laughs> just think of all of the woods we can fit in the front and we could just go over. Yeah, we could just keep this boat. <laughs> Supply run boat. We can supply anything, we can build anything. Yes. So we've had an absolutely awesome time at the boat show, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, seen a lot of boats that we can't afford. <laughs> but we've also seen a lot of parts that will be really beneficial to us on Surinda and also Butari. So it's definitely worth the visit. So yeah, we've had a ball. Our legs are killing because we've walked for miles. Yeah. <laughs> there is so much to do and see, isn't there? Yes. So yeah, so now we're off home. So see you all next time. <laughs>